Everybody have smartphones? Yes. Okay. Anybody didn't have smartphones? <laughs> uh, wrong question, right? At this, at this era. Uh, during my study, I think having phone itself is very rare, right? Uh, even teachers don't like to do with us phone, not the smartphone, only phones. But today, I think even uh, six uh, years old children have smartphone. Yeah? Okay, go to the next slide. Okay, have you experienced uh, you talking with your friends and suddenly you open your browser or Facebook, you found the ad advertisement is, is exactly uh, promoting what you are discussing with your friends? Yes. Is it why? Why? Because is it because the phone uh, hearing to you? Kind of. This is my experience. Uh, I talked with my friends about uh, buying a new clothes, a very stylish, something like that. And suddenly I opened my Facebook, I found that, wow, there are sunglasses advertisement, there are simply better quality clothing uh, advertisements. And then I'm wondering, did they hear we are talking each other? Do you believe the same things? <laughs> So before that, uh, we want to know how many uh, smartphone users in Malaysia. Go to the next slide. Oh, sorry, this is my history lah. You know what model of this phone? Yes. Hey, even you know. Huh? <laughs> During we are using this three three ten Nokia. Dog don't don't dare to come near us because we saying that if dog coming, we throw the phone to the dog and dog running out. After I use smartphone, dog always come near to me. <laughs> so next slide. Uh, this is the statistic. Eh? 18.4 million use, uh, smartphone users in Malaysia itself. Meaning half of Malaysians have smartphones. And the world have 3.3 billion. Half of the world having smartphones today. In this day. Eh? So if anything uh, so the user of smartphone is the best data for data satanists sometimes they call data scientists right but now we call data satanists because they want our data cravingly they really really want what we are doing they really really want to know what we want to buy they really 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 know uh, want to know what we are planning in the future that's a very uh, huge thing Okay, before that, we know that this is smartphones. What's inside smartphones? This is what we call sensors. What is sensors? Okay, there are accelerometer sensors, temperature sensors, color sensors, humidity sensors, proximity sensors. Uh, they have a lot of sensors. Even there are uh, dozens of sensors, even in one smartphone. What these things uh, uh, need, uh, what they want to do with these sensors? This is what they can get our data. You know? For example, GPS sensor itself. They can track where, where, where we are going everywhere, every day. Even uh, today, they know that we are here. Later, if you are going back home, they will ask, how about you see? Is it okay? You have the experience, right? Yeah. You go to a restaurant, you're going back, and how about that restaurant? Is it okay? Or is it how you rating the restaurant? How they can know we are hit there? Because of that, of this census. Yeah, I think everybody become uh, disturbed eh, because of this info. Eh? <laughs> so how we got we we want to remove ourselves from these things? Use Nokia three three ten. Okay, so I'm asking you again: Is smartphone really listening to you? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Because there are some research, because of this issue, there are some research are doing that study the whole uh, most application in Google Play Store. But they say that, well, we didn't find any application that actually listening to people. But why is this thing still happen? Still happening? Any guess? Actually, they are worse than listening to your or by phone. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I try to install a speech to text application on my phone and I keep talking to my phone 
like crazy people. I want to buy cat food, and my wife, ah, uh, we, why you are you are buying cat food? Uh, we didn't have cat. I just testing, right? I want to buy cat food. I'm also buying fish food. I want to buy some fried chicken. Even with my Malaysian accent, they can guess the, uh, correctly the word that I'm talking about. So this is how they can extract our voice and convert it into text, and then they send for analytics. Do you know uh, Google Assistant? Yes. Yeah. They, even I ask them to tell a joke, they will take a joke. Yeah. They are good friends, right? <laughs> But at the same time, they are collecting what we are asking for them. But uh, if we ask Google, they say that, no, 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 we only record after you say, OK, Google, or some trigger, right? Uh, that's what they claim. Right? Uh, but for Facebook, itself, they have a lot of trigger that even nobody knows what are the trigger. Even sometimes, I'm talking to my friends. You know what? Google Assistant replied to me. Like I'm asking my friend, where are you going today? Then Google Assistant said, I suggest you to go to... <laughs> yeah, like mencelah in Malay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Uh, the thing is even worse than they are hearing to what we are talking. They are a simple source code called Google Pixels. Anybody heard Google Pixels before? Google Pixel is small code, like a programming code, that install in a lot of websites. What they do? They monitor every activity on web. For example, what is your favorite website? What if the most website that you go in one day? What you do with your Shopee account? What you check in? What you uh, sorry add to cart? What you are buying? They, do, they have all information about you when you are online if they are using Google Pixels. But they, they say that this information is used for the marketing only. Mm. So they, they, they want to know what you are planning to buy and they want to suggest the best uh, things to you, for you to buy. Also, there are one thing called Alfonso. I think everybody learns history know Alfonso, right? Alfonso the Albuquerque. <laughs> But not that that's the same person. But what is Alfonso? Alfonso is a analytical company. What they do until I put their logo inside my slide is because they create a an, a code that can hear uh, your TV advertisement. For example, uh, they put in a game. While you are playing games, they keep hearing what what are happening in your TV. When you are watching TV, they keep hearing what are the advertisement on the TV, so they can match the same advertisement with your phone. They keep listening that uh, this is what uh, what I'm worried. Uh, this is anybody have experience uh, Google Map timeline? You know Google Map timeline. Yes. Google Map, you know Google Map, right? Yes. They have one feature called timeline. Okay, as you can see, this is my activity in 24 December, 21st December, and yesterday. You see, I have a pattern, right? I like to move like a rounds, <laughs> like a, a circuit, right? So, I can see that I'm going to one place and going back with a different way, right? Uh, this is my pattern, but they know my pattern. You know that they are even collected our information, even we didn't use Google Map. Yesterday, I didn't use Google Map at all because I'm in Nilai, so I know every road in Nilai. But uh, when I check, they still record it. Where I'm going? Where? So, be careful. Your wife, if they know this, they will check your, <laughs> your record every day. Where are you going? <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, when I check, they keep my record for three years back. From 2016, I see every day they have, they know where I'm going. Every day, every day, every day I say, oh, I'm going there. Yeah, that's correct. This is how they track our location, and that's why they can ask our, uh, ask us the review about that places, and everywhere. You can check now your Google timeline. 
and you can see there are a lot of mapping every day, every time. In real time, even if you check now, you can see that they have mapped until you are in Usip. This is uh, they keep tracking uh, our information. Okay, from a research, they they found that nine thousand Android apps were secretly taking screenshot. So hearing if our voice is okay, but taking screenshot or recording videos of smartphone activity is, I think, not okay, right? They they um, uh, they have a schedule, and based on the schedule, they keep screenshotting our application. And from the research, they found nine thousand application that do that. This is a very, uh, for me, it's very uh, what disturbing, uh, and they send to third parties for analyticals. That why before before this they have an app that make us older, right? What are the name of the apps? Face yeah, face apps, right? So there are one issue that they say that they store that info, uh, our all of the image of the users. So this is part of our privacy right this there's something that we can sh we can share that but, but there are something that we cannot share to others right? but this one they take without our concern they just take it without our pro uh, concern so my suggestion to you is not using the universal sign on we found that it was very easy right we can log in using google account using facebook account but by using that, they also give them permission to use the information that related to what we are doing with the apps. For example, your wallet, right? Now everybody has e-wallet application, right? Yes. So they, now they know what are our spending behavior. We know that we are quite a spenders or not a spenders. So they know where we are buying, what we are buying, what price we are buying. Even now they have that's RFI. So all information are available to them now. <laughs> okay. Next is next tips is keep an eye on the permission granted to your apps. Okay. If you everybody every uh, every time you install apps, they will ask the permission, right? Make sure you confirm what permission you give them. Okay. Okay. So as a youth, uh, now the he give me the relationship between mobile apps and use, right? So, as a use, be careful with what you are sharing, what information that you distribute, okay? Okay, that's all for me, and thank you.